the spring movie viewing season. This began back on March the 29th, Friday, with the terror at Red Wolf in 1972. And the spring season goes on for about two months. So we have just one day left. There's just one more must watch film left for the spring movie viewing. And it is one off of that, um, that big box set, the Monster Worlds, uh, Nightmare Worlds box set. And it's the Idaho Transfer in 1973. This one might have to be moved into, into June. That happens sometimes, uh, no sweat. But starting on Saturday, we will begin the, well, maybe Friday, who knows, maybe tomorrow. Um, but most likely Saturday, start, we will begin the June season of movie watching. This, I know it's one month, but it, it has its own flavor to it. Similar to Horror Fest, there's, that's one month, and then, well, less than a month actually, but, and then December has its own Christmas films. So we do it for June, and we kind of do it for July too, but I'll get into that uh, when the time comes. But June movie watching is really a lot of fun. So you have some of the basic themes of, new, of, of the June season, it includes the, like the, ending of spring, the beginning of summer, ending of school, graduation, and then things that take place kind of after that, like beach related stuff, summer camp, definitely. <laughs> you know, I was gonna go there. So here are the ones, first off, that are must watches for myself for the month, for this season of viewing in June. Okay, these are the ones that are, that are like absolutely have to, have to be watched every year during during this month. And that first one was Red Zone Cuba, and they're pretty much, not really in order, but this one's usually the first one. And Red Zone Cuba, 1966, with really, um, really hot type of atmosphere in this, real funny, and selling frog legs, and the, the, uh, the guy who owns the frog leg, and catfish place and uh, just a lot of there's a lot of heat involved in this so it doesn't really have to do with these themes but it's just one that really goes well in this heat of the month uh, Coleman Francis Anthony Cardoza and some others really good of course Sleepaway Camp 1983 this one tends to be later in the month uh, after the calendar uh, season of June of Summer begins usually. 1983, of course, Melissa Rose, Mike Kellen, and a bunch of other good ones. Um, James Earl Jones's brother and others. So this is this is just a, a one that, has, that never gets old. The Girl in Lover's Lane is usually kind of towards the beginning. This is one of the first ones must watch. It's 1959. Again, not really, doesn't really fit the theme. It does feel kind of summer. There's some lake, a lot of lake scenes and stuff like that. And uh, it's just one that's been on there for like 10 years running now. And I must, in my must watch, Brett Halsey's still with us and uh, Joyce Mathers. Of course, I gotta put Jack Elam on there. So uh, this is this is a uh, MST3K with Joel, of course. It has some, some really funny shorts like the, uh, the Train song and others. So, Airplane 2, the sequel, 1982. Uh, Robert Hayes, Julie Haggerty, Peter Graves, uh, William Shatner, of course. And this one, is a, this is always a must watch. Again, a little more towards the end of June, okay? But this is definitely a must watch. And then Hot Moves is kind of towards the, right after school ends usually because that's exactly what this movie is all about school ending and for high schoolers and going to the beach and adam silmar michael zorich johnny tenko jeff fishman uh, jill Sholin, roger rose jerry Marin. okay so the list goes on and on so we have five must watches 
for the month of June. Other movies that are not obligatory, but they are really good selections to have, but they're not watched. I don't watch them every single year, but they're really good choices. Um, Airplane, 1980, just because it's the, because it goes with Airplane 2. It's not one I have to watch, but if it just, it's one of those in the mood things. Airplane, 1980, American Pie, 1999. I feel like watching that before or after Hot Moves, because it's a, the plot rips it off. I did a video about that. So, ending of school, uh, graduation type, stuff so that's real it really fits into the month um, but you know not a must watch fast times of ridgemont high seems to be watched every year this goes through the whole year of a school year but you know of course it concludes and it culminates with the with like the dance and the graduation well not the graduation but then graduating so this is really a, one of the top choices that kind of you have to watch uh, it's not a must watch but it's really kind of up there close to being in this category. Uh, the Brain That Wouldn't Die, 1960s, is a real fun one. It has some, don't ask, it doesn't really fit into any of these themes, but uh, sorry, so Blood Beach is one. Yeah, so Blood Beach is one that's, that's generally, it's the must watch in August, but it's become one of those movies where you, uh, I can watch it twice now, beginning of the summer and towards the end of the summer. So this one is, just depends, you know, if someone picks it and one for all the marbles or trivia, or just really depending on the, the mood, if there's like a beach day the next day or something, the Blood Beach is kind of a choice. It, Friday the 13th, 1980, not one of my favorites in the franchise, but it is that, that like ending of spring, beginning of summer camp. It just has that good atmosphere for June. Uh, Summer Camp Nightmare. This is a really a 1987. This has got Chuck Connors. This is a real wild card. Okay, so probably unlikely. It, it's similar to like um, another one I, I, I could put up here would be California Dream in 1979, which is a drama. It's about the beach, it's about surfing. But that one's really a wild card. Okay, Summer, like Summer Camp Nightmare, 19. Seven. Okay, Friday the Thirteenth Part Two is definite, especially if you if the Thirteenth of June falls on a Friday. This is really the one you just kind of want to go to. <laughs> okay, it's got this is the best like kind of early summer type atmosphere of any of the films, except maybe tied with this. But this one, Part Two, feels a little more like that perfect beginning of like summer summer camp type of thing. Uh, Laser Blast, 1978. It's got pool scenes. It's got, uh, it's got you know, kind of a hot atmosphere to it. So Laser Blast, you know, another kind of wild card choice. The Screaming Skull. Um, don't ask. It's just uh, one. 1958. The Screaming Skull is a funny one. That's an MST3K one, but uh, eh, you know, it could be really any time. But June is a good one. High School Big Shot, 1959. Just because. All right, it's a good one. And then finally, Friday the 13th, part eight, Jason Takes Manhattan from 1989. This one, this one fits in the winter. There's a, there, we have December 13th is a Friday the 13th this year. So it, it, it kind of, for some reason, I'll fit it into winter. But if it's not in the winter, this one is really good for that, um, kind of that mid-June, early to mid-June, because it's about you know, the, the cruise, the graduation of high school, really kind of a memory type thing of going on this little cruise thing when I graduated like eighth grade, and they had this little uh, weird like cruise down in the river or something, I forget where, but this reminds me of that, and it has like, it just really has that ending of the school year Kind of feel to it. I think that's pretty much it for the choices. So that's that's the June movie watching season, boys. It's really, as you can see, there's that's why it has its own season. It's really like anchored by these five, but you have these other um, you have these other options here that are like really good go to options that can really fill out the month with quality movie viewing.
it's a, it's a good time of year for movie watching and it's there it, it ends the whole um, nightmare worlds that this is when we're, we turn the page on the nightmare worlds box set of those sci-fi type movies that's spring movie viewing spring movie viewing has been always a good time but this one's nice and action-packed and has its own has its own life force as well so all right June movie watching and I hope you enjoy your June movie watching thanks guys